Hey y'all, yes baby, we do. Black women do work out. Want to come on and um just give you guys some daily some motivation for today. You know where I'm heading? I'm heading to the gym. I work hard, y'all. Yes, I do. And I see you guys working hard too, so congratulations on y'all that's keeping up this lifestyle change. It's not a diet, it's a lifestyle change. Um, if you're new, you don't know why I got this shirt, I got it from their website. They're on Facebook. Black women do work out. It's a lot. It's a couple of companies named this, but look out for the one that has like thousands and thousands of um likes or views or whatever. You will see it. But um, yeah, I got this straight from the website. I think it was like maybe thirty bucks or whatever. So yeah, I'm still rocking this shirt. Um, yeah, I just, I just want to come on and um just talk to you guys really quick. You see, I'm in my kitchen because my bedroom is a hot mess, so I ain't feel like putting no background or anything because I'm. Gonna be heading out the door in a few minutes. I took yesterday off just to relax. So you guys know I ate all that damn cornbread. So I got to go and sweat off some of that cornbread. But I wanted to say really quick, if the, my husband gave me the best compliment, y'all, the other day. He always compliments me, but he was like, we was walking. He was at the doctor's office. He put his hand around my waist. He's like, oh, you ain't got no fat on your waist. So. Yeah, that's like, I'm like, oh, thank you, baby. Like I've said before, your family members will be the first one to see your results before you will. Um, if you're a beginner, just um, take your time. I've gotten asked this question about, you know, how long should I work out? Everybody is different. If you're on the medical care like I am, talk to your doctor, of course, first. And um, just start off. I don't care if you can only do five minutes on the treadmill. Two minutes on the elliptical. That's how I started off. That's how I started off. So build your way up, build your way up. And before you know it, you will be at your target weight or your however you want to look in your clothes. And after that, it's just maintaining. And it's really easy to maintain. It's not as hard as you think. Because you saw all that food I cooked yesterday. I didn't, I just taste the beans, a little juice. I just taste it for seasoning to make sure it was seasoned good. I, I, they say beans are healthy. So I want to talk about it also with y'all. They say beans are healthy, but still to me, even with me drinking all of this water, I can't stomach beans, any kind of beans. Broccoli and cucumbers, they get in my stomach and it seems like it just explodes, just give me gas. So he was drinking a gallon of water to dilute it and flush it out. I can't stomach it. So don't forget, because I'm just not learning this the hard way. Everybody is different. Oh, don't forget to take your damn bonnet off, y'all. Don't wear no bonnet to the gym. Do what you got to do, y'all. Be cute, put on a cute little do-rag or head scarf or something. Don't wear no bonnet to the gym. Please, ladies, come on. But, yeah, I'm going to pin all of this hair up like this. But, um, yeah, really quick. But well, not really quick, but everybody is different. So what other people eat as far as foods or drinks, you might not be able to stomach it. Do what's best for you. Also, um, I was starting off, I, had just, I was drinking a lot of uh, fruit smoothies. Hold on, y'all. I had to leave the smoothies alone because I realized I am not a fruit person. I was just making it because they say it's healthy or whatever. I don't know. I've said this before. Once you um, started eating different things and once you stop eating different things, your taste buds are going to change dramatically. I said, I'm more of a vegetable person than fruit. Even before I started working out, I'm, I'm not a, a fruit person. But every, all of the food I eat, most of it is like super sweet to me. I can't even stomach it. Um, I still have these kiwi. I bought these a while ago. These kiwis, I only I put one in my smoothie. And I just cut the oven up. I was trying to eat it. Baby, this kiwi is so sweet to me. It's like I was eating a spoonful of sugar. It was just like overpowering me to my taste bud. It was just like too sweet. So remember, all of the fruits are not healthy fruits. This is full of sugar. I mean, a lot of our fruit, of course, have natural sugar. Even though it is natural sugar, to me, my body is like, it's just too sweet. So I would just rather eat vegetables. This is super sweet. Grapes have a lot of sugar in it, ladies. Don't forget that. Grapes, um, 
strawberries have a lot of sugar. A lot, of the, a lot of the berries, blueberries, a lot of this stuff have a lot of sugar in it. So if you wanna, if you wanna eat fruit, I will stay with the bananas. And that's another thing. The bananas was stopping me up. So I'm like, okay, I, I, don't, I don't eat a lot of bananas. Apples, um, I would rather eat apples. That's good for you. Apples is a snack that I like to eat. I like to eat a lot of almonds. It's best if you can find the raw almonds. Those are better. You might have to go to an organic food store, whatever, the raw almonds. But um, I just get mine from Walmart. The roasted almonds with no salt. They are delicious. Delicious. So, um, <clears throat> also really quick, y'all. <clears throat> Um, as you saw in my video yesterday, um, a typical breakfast for me now is like stir-fried vegetables. Yes, for breakfast, I will eat the stir-fried vegetables. These are only one dollar from um, from Kroger, and I will mix this. Well, I will put this whole bag in the skillet, and um, I don't have any more of the cut okra, but I put okra with this, and guys, I don't eat a lot of butter so I just I use real butter that's my season I don't put any salt on here nothing I just put some like a, a little tablespoon of whatever real butter in my skillet a little bit of water and just let this steam that gives it the flavor and um that's what I've been eating from breakfast because again they say oatmeal is healthy I was eating the oatmeal but I was feeling different in my stomach it seems that if my stomach was bloated afterwards and I wasn't putting a lot of sugar and I don't and I let butter in oatmeal I was just trying to eat it just plain <clears throat> it still was like a difference in my stomach. So I would eat just egg whites for breakfast. I can stomach yogurt. So I eat egg whites and yogurt or egg whites and vegetables and a lot of water. Two hours later, if I'm hungry, I just give me a big thing of water. I, I have a gallon by my bedtime, by my nightstand. So I just fill up my two glasses and drink water. So I would eat a handful of almonds and water for my snack. Lunch would be the remaining of these vegetables or I would put the remaining of these vegetables in like a salad and to me a typical salad just like a handful of um like American like a lettuce blend I would that would be my salad I don't pile it up with bacon and egg I mean like so I, I eat salad with bacon and eggs don't get me wrong but I eat the egg whites I put the bacon in it if I buy it out of the store, but here I just get like a handful of just like the um, lettuce, you no know, greens or whatever, or spinach. Mix this in with it, and I will put like maybe a tablespoon of just drizzle of salad dressing, and that's my lunch. Remember, you do not live to eat. You are here to you. You do not live to eat. Eat to live. Eat to live. So like I say, all of the different foods that you know you used to eat. You're not going to have a stomach for it anymore. So you just basically eat it every three hours to train your stomach. And trust me, you will train your stomach. Because even now, um, I still eat fried food sometimes. Oh, Lord, we're going to miss the bus. I'll holla at y'all later. I'll be back. Holla. Why y'all didn't tell me today was Thursday? I'm thinking today is fucking Tuesday. Man, this week went by fast. I'm like, what the hell? I went in here in the little corner store to cash in my lottery tickets because yeah, I told y'all I was going to win the lottery. Y'all didn't believe me, but I won, y'all. I won $4. Yeah, I won $4, so yeah. So, um, <laughs> we went by fast shit. But anyway, what I was saying was, oh, yeah. But I also want to tell you guys also, um, when you first starting off or just in general, you need to sweat, you need to get the heart rate pumping by doing cardio, treadmill, elliptical, aerobics. If you can stand out and jumping around, I can't do aerobics. So if you can do that, do that. Of course, you can, um, while you, um, they say like three times a week. Do some kind of strength training as far as weights. You don't have to be, you will not get big and bulky. You just need to basically do what you're comfortable with and just do a lot of them. That's how you also build your muscles. Muscles weigh more than fat. So if you still weighing yourself, yeah, muscles weigh more than fat. So trying to do a lot of repetitions, 
rep, a lot of reps with um, lower weights and it's for your stomach your stomach will be one of the last things that you will lose everybody lose weight differently you will see it in your face first you see it in your neck and then all over um, your stomach happens in the kitchen it doesn't happen as folks just doing crunches I would suggest and it's not just me I read up on this I would just leave the crunches alone you need to get rid of that fat over your stomach which starts in the kitchen your stomach is um, built on what you eat so of course drinking a lot of water flushes your um, toxins out your system out sodium you need to low sodium intake very low like I said um you know I was I ate a couple of those cracklings and those hot skins and it just gave me like a headache so I knew what it was all the damn salt so it's just too much salt so um stick with low carb snacks low carb foods low sodium low sodium or no sodium at all that's what I do so um I think that's all I wanted to update you guys on yeah, get crunk when you get ready to go to the gym. Like me, y'all know I'm always listen to some music. Yeah, get crunk. In the gym bag, you need to have some sweat, some um, towels. You need to have some water. You need to have you some reading material. I got my ultra book in there and my newspaper so I can look for some more coupons. So I will be looking at that on the, um, on the treadmill. I have my phone that I'm recording on now. I have my iPod. So I have my phone and my iPod set up on the treadmill on top of a book. And that's and I just play Candy Crush. That is what gets me through my workout. So do what you gotta do to get through that workout. Before I know it, I'm at an hour on the treadmill. I'm just full of sweat. So yeah, I done play Candy Crush. I done play Yahtzee on my iPod. I got my music in my ear. My newspapers I wanna switch up and just do something else. Got to do something to um Make that time go by. So yeah, remember suck in your stomach on the elliptical, on the treadmill, stand up tall, and walk the pounds out. So I think that's it, y'all. I love y'all. If no one has told y'all you y'all are doing good, I see you. So I will be trying to do more shout outs with the ones who I see working out or if you tell them that you work out or whatever. So yeah, let's motivate each other. Don't be hating, don't be jealous on the next female. Let's help each other and let's get crunk. And I'll holler. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,